Hello and welcome back. So I just checked that recording of the last episode and yes, it was an achievement. I got the achievement for Transfactorio Express uh, because I routed the train through the station back to the other station and then back to the station where it needed to go, which was very nearby. Um, that long route uh, got me this, have a train plan a path 1,000 tiles or longer. So we kind of cheated for that achievement. Normally you would have had to build something probably this far out. Ooh, our radar here is doing work. I haven't looked in the map in a while. This area is uncovered. Oh, uh, we got more coal. That's fantastic. I think we had this over here though. We do. Tons more stone. Uh, we have uranium down here, but then we have more up here. Which I think... Oh yeah, there's more coal over there too. But, let's have a look at the pollution map. Okay. So, yeah, we're not really polluting these biters yet. They are big bases, though. Uh, but I have a feeling that they're going to come after us pretty soon in these other regions. We need to set up more radars. So one to the north a little bit, maybe over here. Ooh, copper. I dig that. Um, and one down here for sure. In fact... I'm going to do that now because that threat is going to be imminent. I was about to say I have no coal, but I'm standing right next to a coal line. Not that I want to run my car on coal anyway. Which, depending on how your house gets your electric, your electric car might be running on coal. Which, you know, is worse than gas, I think. Okay, well... I mean, this is... Probably a good spot for a radar. Did I not? What's 200 divided by 3? It's about 70, right? Okay, well that radar is going to take some time 
to properly search the area. Ugh. Put my car in my pocket. Ooh, that's. I just wanted to re replenish my own personal ammo. How's my engine production? Still terrible. Still the bottleneck. And how about electric furnace? Need more bricks, more steel. Oh, nice. Why is that? Oh, because. And because. Okay, well this one's not working. So I'm going to move this inserter. Okay, let's research something that's a little bit faster. Robot speed, why is that even... Can I already build? You know what? Let's go for construction robots. And then personal robot Definitely. Okay. So we need to continue on with this trend. I need some bricks. And some steel. So that I can make all the furnaces. Alright, that's good news. The steel line is finally backing up. Oh, that's a lot of panels. Alright. I bet you we have a lot of accumulators too. Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, with that in mind, let's go a little overkill with our solar panels, shall we? solar Put 
put a gate right here. I've been carrying this gate around with me for ages. Glad I caught that. That would have been annoying. I'm going to start encroaching on this stone. You know what? We don't necessarily need this stone if we have some nearby. Uh, eh, kind of. Let's just plan around it for now. Uh, so that means smelting needs to go... I could run another line up here, build a few more furnaces right here. That's probably the best way to do it. Uh, I need it here, an inserter here, and the line to go here. I think right about there is the farthest I'd want it to go. funny my uh my headphones filter out 32 decibels of sound and i still know exactly when my landlady comes home because she slams the door and i don't even think she's mad or about anything she just that's how she closes doors I want to test this before I mess around with anything. I want to see if I set this up right. Uh, no. I tried dropping some iron plates on there. Yeah, okay, that went through that one at least. Yay! Okay, personal robo port. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. But. Modular armor. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. I can make it. I'll make a battery. Oh. Okay, well. Where is it? Oh, it went straight there anyway. I need a battery, I need some solar panels. I can't remember how many it was. I think I had two or three batteries, and then that's four. It's fifteen, so nineteen solar panels. Well, I don't want to make too many, so I'm, I'm not going to assume. But I need batteries. 
and I can't make them in my pocket. So... Does anyone remember me saying that it was a terrible idea to set up the accumulators the way that I did? Yeah, it turns out I was right. Because now I have no battery storage. Okay, well, batteries, I needed how many? I'm gonna go with two for now. And personal RoboPort, what does that even take to make? Oh, 45 batteries. The gear wheels are easy, the plates are easy enough. So I just need a lot of batteries. Okay, well, I'll come back to that. Yes, personal robo port, very important. Mark two. What else is available? Logistics robots. Yeah. You know, logistics robots for me so far haven't been that useful. I don't use them for a lot of things. I mean, I did have some requests going, but they were raw materials, and it wasn't very efficient. In fact, it was very inefficient. Anyhow, let's get these panels out of the way. And get our iron walked over here. And then we'll get more steel on the works. Did you see I got lazy over here? With the placement of the inserters, I didn't have to put down more power cables dag nabbit what am I lacking steel at the moment no problem oh these are backwards aren't they yes yes they are Oh, I see what I'm doing here. That's... Um, that's not what I wanted at all. Now... Oh, okay. Uh, I put steel plates on the belt instead of 
or, or iron plates on the belt instead of iron ore. So it was making steel on some and iron on the others. Okay. Well. Uh-oh. Our iron is slowing down again. Who's not working and why? Well, I can see why you're not working. Well, we've just about covered. I mean, there's still plenty of room once, once, uh, we've just about covered that iron. So it's about time to make an iron outpost. More trains. Now, something that I have not yet set up. So it will be a learning experience is I have not yet set up the ability to have multiple trains on the same track. Now, it's important to be able to do that, yes, but it's also something I know nothing about. You see, uh, there's, uh, let's see, rail signals. It defines the rail system into blocks, allowing multiple trains. Then you have rail chain signal. Reads the next signals in the path to allow better control of the trains. How those work, I have no idea. And then... I th thought there was another kind, but I don't see it. I mean, there's obviously the train stop. We, we already have two of those. But yeah, I got to figure out the the rail signals and the rail chain signals to get a better idea of uh, what they, how they work. But yeah, we, we do need more iron. I mean, I could, I could redesign this iron mining setup. In fact, we do have some more iron over here. And up here. We're starting to get a little bit hairy with the placement of these though. It's fine. It bugs me when the the mining areas overlap like these how they're right next to each other but it's not the worst thing that could happen not the worst thing at all now we've got more iron coming in and now here's the thing this line is now too close because this is iron smelting we set it up over here because we didn't want to mess around with our stone mining So, this needs to be moved over by one. Ugh. Having to redo this is not ideal. Uh...
Alright, well. Let's get this going. Actually, I think it's just this way, right? Okay, logistics robots. Excellent. Breaking force, not particularly important at the moment. I don't know. I guess I'll do this for now. It comes to a point where I just start doing the research in order because I don't know what to research. Now, I think I accidentally figured out how to um, do the automatic correct distance. And I'll test that theory right now. Let's do it with power poles. So if I just click and hold, yes, I did it accidentally with the uh, underground belts just now. So the same button you use to place an item, if you just click and hold it, it won't place it until you get to the maximum distance. See, it's not placing it even though I have the mouse button held here. It won't place it here, but here it will. So that is very useful. It seems like something you would have like accidentally figured out much sooner than that, but I guess not.
Um, rather than using this space here for iron mining or iron smelting, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is, for now at least, I'm going to use this space for steel smelting. Uh, and so all I'm going to do is do an in inserter that way and a long-handed inserter that way. And that should give me what I'm looking for. Okay, now our steel setup is pretty good. Uh, famous last words. I feel like in Factorio, to be satisfied with your assembly line is just asking uh, for something to go wrong. What do you think? Well, I'm going to at least build one more um, engine assembler. Uh, what do they have? They have a long hand and a short hand. Okay, well that's looking good. And yes, uh, we still need lots more engines because these machines are working at capacity. It looks like. Well, they were for a moment. Wait, let me take a closer look at that. Okay, so it looks like they... Hmm. Well, I'm going to forget a little bit about the engine problem for now, because I, I really want to set up the prize here. Got the batteries, got the circuits. Oh, I don't have the gears, but I'll just go ahead and make those. Uh, batteries. Personal batteries. So I'm going to set up one, two, and the solar panels. So 
So as you can see, these take up slots. And the personal robo port will take up slots and the batteries will take up slots and the solar panels charge the batteries, of course, and the personal robo port is going to hold on, hold on. So we get the robo port in there. And I can either put two more panels or one more battery. So we'll give that. Anyway, so as you use robots, as the robots need a charge, it'll drain the armor. Why is my battery at, oh. Uh, okay, I guess, okay, so it, it, the RoboPort actually holds its own charge. And then the batteries start to fill up. So it, it has its own capacity, which is pretty nice. All right, well, uh, now the challenging part uh, because we don't have lubricant. Uh, what we need is these electrical engine units. I think I put the cart before the horse a little bit by building that uh, robo port. Because now, not only do we have the engine problem for the science packs, but we also have we need engines for the robots. But that's a good stopping point for this episode. I think two episodes ago, I said it would be my last for the night. Um, I was tired, but now I'm much less tired. Uh, now I think I want to keep playing Factorio. So I'm going to grab some water. And I'll be right back for the next episode.